vaccine passports at G7 meet says it is hugely discriminatory. Hello and welcome to Inventiva. This is Palak Yadav presenting to you today's big news. With little over 3% of its population fully vaccinated, India has firmly opposed the adoption of COVID-19 vaccine passports at the G7 meeting of health ministers on Friday, saying that such an initiative could prove to be hugely discriminatory. Health Minister Harshvardhan addressing the meeting of his counterparts from seven wealthy nations to which India was invited this year as a guest raised concerns about the availability of vaccines and low rates of inoculation in developing nations. At this stage of the pandemic, it is pertinent to also discuss about India's concern over the idea of a vaccine passport. Considering the fact of lower levels of vaccination in developing countries in contrast to the developed countries and still unaddressed issues related to the equitable and affordable access, supply and distribution of safe and effective vaccines, India would propose that implementation of vaccine passports will be hugely discriminatory and disadvantageous to the developing countries, he said. India would suggest that the same should be implemented duly taking into consideration the emerging evidence of the efficacy of vaccines and under the overarching coordination of WHO duly attending to the anomaly of access and affordability as it exists today, Mr. Vardhan said. The G7 health ministers meeting in Britain agreed Friday to step up coordination against future pandemics and other threats but made no new commitments to speed up the vaccine deliveries to less developed countries. Meeting in Oxford in southern England ahead of next week's G7 summit, the ministers agreed on a new charter to, de to deliver the international clinical trials of treatments and vaccines. The agreement aims to make it easier and quicker to share results from vaccine and therapeutic trials to tackle COVID-19 and future health issues, the minister said in a joint declaration. But facing growing calls to ensure a fairer global distribution of vaccine doses, the G7 health gathering failed to break new ground, reiterating previous commitments to share doses as soon as possible. Poorer countries which do not have enough stocks for comprehensive inoculation programs have lagged in their jobs drives as they wait for the stocks. In G7 countries are already committed to supporting the COVAX global vaccine sharing program, but the World Health Organization and others have warned that it is short of around 200 million doses in the short term.